the Nim Cast. Oh no, it's the Nim Cast. Oh no, it's the Nim Cast. Oh oh, it's the Nim Cast. Oh no, it's the Nim Cast. Oh no, it's the Nim Cast. Oh oh, it's the Hello everyone, I am Lord Pasta, joined by the host of the NIMCast, Nim himself, and welcome to the next iteration of the NIM podcast. Hope you enjoy. Hello, Hello everyone. So, um, I'm, 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 I'm getting over my, my fears. Um, remember last really? week I started off, I was, I was just, you know, couldn't, couldn't fall asleep, I was scared of everything, but you know what, you know what, spooky season's over now, I, mm-hmm. I can, I can finally sleep. And it's it's fine. No longer afraid of getting raped by the boogeyman. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the boogeyman, also known as Michael Myers, they refer to him as the boogeyman a lot in in those movies. That's a that's a thing. Because mm-hmm. um, in the first one, the the kids like, oh, is that the boogeyman? Um, I didn't know that. I just said that. So yeah, I I mean I just found that out when I watched uh, that movie. But but uh, anyways, yeah. So my uh, Halloween special video is up, and that that's exciting. Um, a lot, a lot of people enjoyed that. Actually, I don't know if people enjoyed that. I didn't get any comments, so, you know. Actually, I think I did, but I don't know. Who knows? Um, Come on, yeah, you, so that... you got to be a better YouTuber, Nim. Come on, you can't <laughs> let your let your audience down. Your your huge mass of fans. Yeah, know? my huge mass of fans. My total of uh, sixteen views I got on that video. Sixteen views, people. Hey, hey, look, it's better than no views. It's 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 better than no views, and I've gained a few subscribers too. Like I'm, I made it to 150. Yeah, I heard. Congratulations. Yeah. It took I me. About it, it took me three years. No, probably like two and a half. No, probably three years to get 150 subs. Oh really? On my first. Okay. Show. Yeah. I, I'm a, I'm at uh, about two and a half now. I think or over two and a half. I started in. You're wait. doing better than I am. Or I was. I'm around two and a half years now. I started in like May, Mar, May, May of 2016. Uh, May of 2016, I started. So. Well, so let's see. I started in 2013, and it was in 2016 that I finally hit 150 mm-hmm. subs. So yeah, that would be three years. So it was about around three years or so. Yeah. Um. Interesting thing though. My I did last year, or no, the first year uh, since I had started, I did a, once it was a year since I had uploaded my first video, I did a one-year special, like a one-year anniversary special. I never did a two-year anniversary special. I think I was just really busy at the time and wasn't able to get a video out then. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'll do a three-year one. Yeah, you got to do that one. Um, my uh, my channel anniversary is, uh, well, of when I un- uploaded my first video, not when I made the channel, but of when I uploaded my first video is like May 3rd. So it's the day before it's another special holiday. Guess what that is? May 4th. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, yeah, Star Wars Day. Um, so that's exciting. I, I forgot to do a Star Wars video on Star Wars Day this last this year, too. Jeez. Yeah, you're slacking, dude. Next year. But... The, the, the first, uh, that first year I did, though, the, the, um, the, after my, yeah, after I had hit one year since I started, I did do a Star Wars special video then, so. You know what we it's should okay. do for your three-year anniversary or something? Have you, have you, uh, watched, uh, Monkey Jones' Wheel of whatever, Wheel of Torture or whatever game he does? I think so? I, I've, I've heard of it. I don't know we, if I've seen it. It'd be yeah. fun if we tried to do something like that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. It just yeah, popped in my in head. That. Like, just do, like, um, a game or something. Because I don't yeah. know what you'd really do to entertain people. Uh, oh, we hey, could even it's do been three years, you know. We're even gonna want to do like specials for like the Nimcast too. Like, oh, we hit a hundred episodes, or oh, we hit one year of the Nimcast, or yeah. Stuff like that. We should have something that we do on like yeah, this. like during the episode, like something special that we do. Mm-hmm. Maybe you know, take in uh, call callers, you know, because we we'll definitely maybe. have that much fans yeah, by we'll, then. We'll have like millions of fans. Like, hey, we'll 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 get a bunch of people. F- um, coming over after our next guest <laughs> oh, oh, so yeah. um um i i can't say uh our mystery really s- guest of mystery. i don't want to give it away but his name rhymes with dyke diaper <laughs> so 
see if you can figure that one out. Um, <laughs> somebody Lord Pasta admires very much, very much so. Oh, no. Stop, you're going to scare him away. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun, actually. I'm actually excited for that. That's going to be our ne- next week. Uh, but this week, you know, it's just the two of us. So yeah. as, as mm-hmm. I did before, when it's just the two of us in between guest episodes, um, since it's just us, no guests, uh, it's time for us to talk crap on our, our p- past guests. So what, what do you have to say about our past guests? Um, okay, so the first one that we had um, was the podcast people. And they were they were good. They were pretty good. Although I didn't really I didn't really have much experience in what they were talking about. Really, okay, we are, we already talked about them the last episode we had well, without. I'm them, just I going remember. in sequential order. Yeah. Well, no, I meant like the past guest, like the one we had last week. You know? You're messing with my flow, Nim. <sighs> okay. Let me be me, okay? Oh, all right. That's so talking about the last guest. You. Um, there was a bit of a problem with the audio of that, partially due to, to my my fault, because I had my fan on. Um, however, I do believe I've had my fan on in other past episodes of the podcast, and because yeah. we use Audacity, it's it's more higher quality, and you can understand what I'm saying better yeah. usually. Well, usually there's a little bit of background noise, but it's not like yeah, but you can like it's not like it's not like uh. Um, right. Uh, low bit rate stuff that you get right. through Discord. Like it's, it's not too bad. But um, our last episode, the one we did with Serena, mm-hmm. had our worst audio quality because she wasn't able to record her voice at the moment. Like she didn't have everything set up or whatever. So we had to record the Discord call directly, which I think we should uh, warn our guests about that. Far yeah. in advance from now on. Yeah. Like, hey, usually this is how we record. We record everybody records their own audio, and then we send we all send it in and edit it together. We should probably, which I'm pretty sure I told um for that. I don't know. I think. But you just anyways, gave away our mystery Fra- guess. Dyke diaper. I mean, yeah, dyke yeah, that's diaper. What he I can said. That's, I can censor that. I'll censor that he... when I edit. I'll censor that when I yeah, edit. Put a big bleep there. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, so we recorded the Discord call directly. I think it wouldn't have been as bad if our audio levels were, like, the same. Like, if m- my volume was the same as the oh, others. Yeah. But, like, yours and her volume were so much quieter than mine. I tried to, like, adjust it before we started recording, but it didn't do it as well as, as I wanted it to. Like, when you I was listening like... out here, my voice came in nice and clear because mine was being recorded directly from the uh, recording software, whereas yours guys' was being direct, recorded directly from nah, nah, the Discord Nim, call. Nim, you're just, you're just lazy. Well, here's what you gotta do. You gotta go look through the recording, cut out all the places where you talked, and all the places where we talked, and then individually raise and lower the volume yeah. accordingly. Come on. That would take forever. I, I did not have it. time for that. I literally edited that like this, this podcast the night is your before. life. Okay, the night before it was uploaded, I was editing that. Like I was stayed up all night editing. What did I? Do? I stayed up like all night editing my Halloween special video and editing the podcast that night because they both came out on the same day because it was Halloween day. Okay. Like okay. I, I, I have was pity. up. I have. Pity I, now. I went to bed at six in the morning that night. Like it was. It was bad. Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty extreme. You already give your life to this podcast, Nim. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, well, no, the problem was because um, <clears throat> I wanted to get my the Halloween special out, too, the same day, because it's Halloween day. Um, and so I still had one more movie to watch that night. So I was like, oh, I got to watch this movie and... I have to, like, go and edit that video, which that video took a lot more to edit because there's a lot more, like... Like, the podcast, in order to edit, I don't cut a lot of things out, so it's just I kind of, like, listen to the whole thing and make sure it's fine. Uh, whereas, like, the, the the Halloween video took a lot more effort in, into editing because I actually had to, like, add stuff in and, and whatever. Um, so I had to do that and the, uh, the other one. And, yeah, so I was, like, up all night just doing that and then making my thumbnail for the for the uh halloween video which that thumbnail is pretty great i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty happy with that thumbnail um 
Here, so wait. Was... Let me let me review it live right now. I'm yeah. gonna review your thumbnail because yeah, I'm I'm thumbnail. a professional um, graphic designer. Okay. Right, by professional you... by professional I mean not really at all. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll bring it up on my phone so I can look at what you're looking at. Um, or you could post it in the Discord chat, but whatever. Oh, I'm just gonna Either look way. at it on your channel. Yeah. Right now. I mean, Ooh, you have what do you, you have 151 subs. Yeah, I know, I know. I gained another one. Yeah, y yeah. You need uh, if you need somebody to like redesign all of your thumbnails. All of what? All my you thumbnails. Need... <laughs> You yeah, I suck at thumbnails. You just redo all of your channel. <laughs> Honestly, though, um, I need to redo my uh, channel trailer because I've been meaning to update that for like ever now, but I never, I didn't. Um, you know, yeah. What do you? Th what I what want do you to do is, I want to just like let me do all the graphics for your channel. Like, do you want I want I want to like make your channel look beautiful because I can so do that. You know. Okay, make make a banner and then make like. I'll would make you do all different. Like, I'll make different. Uh, um, what's it called? Thumbnails. Yeah, I'll make different thumbnails for different series, and I'll I'll have them custom for yeah. each one. Because that's what sure. I did for my channel. If you look at my channel, I have I have every video has its own specific look. So that way you know when you're clicking on the video, okay, that's a Lord Pasta video. And I want people to look at your channel and see your videos in the recommended. See, a lot of my thumbnails, which I forgot to do that for the for this one. I know, I know Halloween you do one, that. I know I'll you, put like my, my logo in the corner a lot of times. Yeah, I know you do that, but it, quite frankly, if I were to give my my professional and by professional I mean I took a class once uh, opinion, um, they 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 look like crap. I'm not gonna lie. I'm being brutally honest with you because you're my oh, friend. Oh, I know. You know. Um, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I know that my thumbnails aren't the best. Like they, I, they have they have no color scheme. True. And, and true. No, no. What do you order. think of the nim the nimcast ones? They're equally as bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I I just take like the and same. I'm not saying this to just flex on you or anything. Like. I, I, I would do this for free. I would fix you, Nim. Maybe. That's Maybe. how much I care about you. I don't know. I don't know. I enjoy making my own thumbnails. No, my older ones are worse, are pretty bad, though. Like Oh, the, I believe that. The ones where I used to put, like, my, my old Minecraft face in the every thumbnail. It's okay, Nim. I still love you. <laughs> I know. I, I know you do, you. Da Daddy Pasta. No, there's um, nothing you can do to tear us apart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> See, at least I'm use and I'm finally using Photoshop for my um, Good thumbnails job. now. I didn't Claps use for the to. big boy. I used to use Paint.net. They grew up even so though fast. I had Photoshop, I just didn't use it. <laughs> no, I'm proud of I'm proud of my nimble. But um, you grew up so yeah. fast, you know. Yeah, uh, I started using Photoshop. The first video I ever used Photoshop for my um, for my thumbnail was the latest Star Wars: The Clone Wars review, which I haven't done one in a while. But that came out on July twenty sixth, so that's when I started using Photoshop for all my thumbnails. So probably a later than I should have because I've had Photoshop since last like last like no or no last December or February like or not not. December last January or February like the beginning of the year I've had it since then and I never used it <laughs> until last summer so wow that's how uh, much I suck at life but um you don't, I don't suck, know I, Nim. you make more videos than I do true so. true see I focus more on the videos than the thumbnails so it's know. always good what I yeah. think you should do is I have um, is like do s you do scripts right? No, no. I mean, for my BoJack Horseman reviews, I did, but other than that, those are the only videos I've ever done scripts for. Well, besides my short films, of course, but because film reviews can be really hot in the algorithm, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I believe the only ones that ever get any real traction are scripted ones or the ones where it's a commentator or a or a narrative narration 
Oh, where like they do like they, a, they the kind of do like a and say here is this this frame is not good this part of the movie yeah, no. doesn't I know flow. what you're talking about see I do yeah. it in a more like um um what's his name like a more Chris Stuckman style yeah see I don't just, know who that is so but um <laughs> he's probably honestly he's probably one of the better movie reviewers I think he's I would say he's probably one of the most well respected movie reviewers like in terms of like because he, he, he uh, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But, you, you know, gotta I, I don't know. funny. You got to be cracking jokes, like, 24-7 about the movie. Like, yeah, well, this character know. looks so, so like you, they got Down Syndrome. Ooh, LMAO. So you're, dunk you're dunk. talking more like the, the um, nostalgia critic style. Uh, kind of. yeah, sort of. Just not know. him because Doug is a baldy, yeah. as we were talking about last episode. True, um, true. But yeah, no. Uh, so, so this is uh, the improve uh, improve Nims YouTube channel uh, podcast. I'm sorry, so. it was all it was all inside me. I had to let it out. I had to. I had <laughs> no, it's to, okay. It's okay. Um, I had to release it all over you, man. No, but like I, I enjoyed <laughs> I enjoy the uh, the the Halloween special uh, thumbnail. I know it's not good necessarily and it's like there's just a bunch of random stuff thrown in there but i enjoy it because the idea was i'm gonna take something some sort of image from each one of the 10 horror movies and throw it in the thumbnail some of them i couldn't find a good image yeah, so i just put the that. title you, the, from hmm? a design perspective you can't do that it doesn't work i don't yeah i don't care yeah but the I viewer it, cares i thought it'd be fun the guy looking at the recommended videos and sees your video recommended cares they care and if you if if they see something that looks like a 12 year old did it in ms paint they're gonna be like i don't want to listen to no squeaker and they're not i did it i did it in photoshop okay still doesn't it still looks like you did it in ms paint (laughs) i'm not i'm not gonna lie you're like oh you think it's a good idea because intuitively you're like oh i'll just put an image from each of these films in the thumbnail but there's too many different colors it clashes and well, yeah, it's I uneven know. and your eyes just want to like recede into your brain and and cause well, you, you know have what? an aneurysm you know i enjoy images like that what do you think of the bojack horseman review uh ones uh those are those are better those yeah. ones are better. mainly because I took images from the show and actual promotional images from the show, but yeah. So let me let me <laughs> find one that you've made that's good. Um, um, I like I like three months ago, um, the Star Wars Clone Wars reviews Point of No Return. Yeah, I like that uh, that one. That one looks good. Yeah, that's that's my typical style I did for the Clone Wars ones, where I just take an image from the episode. And then I put, like, my logo in the top corner, and then I put, like, the name. And then, like, for each season, I would have a color scheme. So, like, for season one, I think they were all in blue words. Season, I don't remember each one, but, like, this season five, I'm on season five, they're all in uh, yellow words. So, like, each one, each season had a different, I don't know. I mean, that's but. interesting. I also like the one after it. Uh, the, uh, the oh, that, the, the Ant-Man potential. and the Wasp one. I was actually really proud of that one, actually. I like the little uh, curves on the edges of that. Yeah, one. I that downloaded a, um, a a thing, a template thing that you can p- uh, put in in your um, when you're editing. You can just put it over, and it like does that. It's pretty interesting. Interesting. Yeah, but again, um, with all of these, they don't follow a color scheme or 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 have any flow to them. But if they did. If you just standardized your whole thing and looked so good to the eye. Yeah, and I, I know. I get what you're saying. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, hey, all of the, the Nimcast ones are standardized for the same look to them. It's yeah, not a good look, but, you know. Stole the words right out of my mouth. Um, but <laughs> let's, let's, stop, uh, let's stop with that. Um, I feel like we've given you enough, Nim. Um, let's, mm-hmm. let's let's move mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. to something yep. else. Um. Anyways, so how was your week? How how have things been uh, the past few weeks for you? Uh, fairly good. Um. 
nothing really happened this week. Uh, there was a big rainstorm on Thursday, and since uh, marching band season is over, I don't really have anything to do. And on Thursday, Thursday is the only day that we have practice anymore because our team went to the um, playoffs. Um, mm -hmm. But it got canceled because of the, rain, the rainstorm, um, so I had nothing to do. Um, yeah. I had the game on Friday. Uh, we nice. won, which was good. Nice. nice. I say good, but really we want them to lose so we can just not do anything. <laughs> oh, makes sense. Um, um, prouder, yeah. prouder of you than last time we talked about this, and you said you lost. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Was I talking about our team or the marching band? I honestly don't remember. That was like two weeks ago. Hmm. <laughs> what a shame, Nim. <laughs> Do you really think I remember things that happened that long ago? Yeah, I'm ashamed in you. I, I don't really even that, know what I had for breakfast. Am I really that unimportant that you just don't remember no, that? No, I, I just have a bad memory, okay? I don't even know what I had for breakfast this I, morning. I'm, I'm memeing on you. I have, I have a worse memory than you do. I don't remember what I ate like five minutes ago. Um, I ate I ate a pack of gummies recently. Oh, wait, I did too. Whoa! We both ate a pack of gummies! Oh my I gosh. didn't even remember that until you said it. Like, I did just before we started the podcast. Same. That's weird. We wow. have a connection. We're, we're we have this weird psychic linked. connection. We're, we're cosmically linked. That is that is actually really weird. I'm like, oh, I ate a pack of gummies right before the podcast. We're actually like, twins, Sick. and we just don't know. What? We're twins, and our parents have been lying to us this whole time. Yeah, we look exactly alike, yeah. You, you just took all the resources from me. Yeah. And, and I was, like, really tiny, so I became, I became yeah. this. Um... Anyways, there was a. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think what happened to me in the past few weeks. Um, not oh, yeah, a lot. Yes, other enlighten than, me. Enlighten me. Not a lot, other than my, um, than my, you know, usual school and, and work and watching a bunch of horror movies. Um, which, if you want to hear me talk about those movies, watch the, watch the video, the 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 ten classic horror movies I've never seen before video on my channel that came out on Halloween Day. Uh, <laughs> Just plug my channel here. That's all this podcast. This is the the Nim Nim TV plug podcast. Um, <laughs> um, they all what was I gonna are, say? Let's be but there was a big thing that happened. Um, I, I mentioned this to you, and I told you a little bit about it. I went on a date, right? Right. Mm -hmm, yeah. Now, the date itself, there's not a lot to say, you know, about how well, you know, it, it went well. It was a good date and everything. Not gonna get into that. Okay. But I am going to tell you an interesting thing that happened on the date. This is this is our fun little uh, date story that I have. So I'm not going to tell you about a lot of, like, when it was just me and her together, hanging out, whatever. That was, like, whatever, normal date stuff. Okay. But here's, here's what happened. So my good friend, I've mentioned him before, my good friend Eli, um, he's, he's, like, my best friend, right? I'm pretty sure I've mentioned him before. He's the one that I said, ooh, it would be fun to have a political debate with him on the podcast, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, anyways. Guy. Yeah, he goes to the college I go to as well. Um, and he, like, texts me, like, after my class, or no, before my class was over, and he's like, hey, are you going to be able to hang out after class? And I go, no, I'm not going to be able to hang out after class because I actually have a date tonight. And he's like, oh, who is it? Well, that's awesome, blah, whatever, you know? And I'm like... And after my class is over, I'm like, yeah, I'm leaving for my date, whatever. I go to pick her up, right? I'm there. Uh, I'm waiting for her to walk out because I don't know which house is hers, like where the GPS took me, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, you might want to like come out <laughs> because I don't know which house. I can't figure out which house is yours. Um, it turned out it was like on the other side of the road, and I thought it was on the one side. Anyways, that's not important. While I'm waiting, um, he calls me. Eli calls me, and I'm like, why is he calling me? He knows I'm, like, trying to go on a date. So I answer it, and I'm like, hey, like, why are you calling me? And he's like, I don't remember what he said, but he's like, oh, where are you right now? And I was like, oh, I'm just here going to pick her up, you know? I'm just here to pick her up. And then he's, like, trying to talk to me, but then I see her, like, she's walking out, and I'm like, uh, there she is. Bye. And then I just hang up. <laughs> um, anyways, so we go. We go to, uh... We go to eat, um, and at first we're going to go to eat at um, um, Applebee's, but um, for whatever reason, she doesn't want to eat at Applebee's. She would rather eat at McDonald's, 
Yeah, and I was already like, told this. Yeah, I, I told you that part. And I was like, why would you want to eat at McDonald's? What? That's weird. But anyways, we go to McDonald's. You know, I know it's a weird place to take a date, but you know what? She wanted to go, and it was a fun time anyways, so it doesn't matter where we go, you know? Uh, but anyways, we're sitting there eating our salads that we ordered at McDonald's, and then next thing you know, I get a Snapchat from Eli himself. I don't go to open it or anything. I'm like, you know what? I'm on a date. I'm not going to, like, be talking to somebody else on, on my phone when I'm on a date. Like, come on. So I'm like, I'll ignore it. He probably is just sending, like, t streaks or something to keep their streak going or something. I don't know. So I don't open it. Next thing I know, a minute later, I get a phone call from guess who? Eli. I don't answer it. I'm like, oh, he knows I'm on a date. Why is he calling me? He Like, he knows. It's not like he didn't know where I was. Why is he calling me? So I don't answer it. He calls again. And she's like, you know what? You should just answer it. And I'm like, yeah, I should just answer it. I answer it, and he's like, hey, respond to my snap. And I'm like, first off, I'm just like, why? Like, like what reason do I have to respond to it? Like, okay. And I'm like, fine. So I open it. It, it. He doesn't say anything in the snap. It's just a picture of himself. And I'm like, why? I'm like, fine. I'll just send him a picture of me and her, right? So I get a picture of us together, of the two of us together, right? And I send it to him. I'm like, whatever. Don't even think much of it. So we continue to, to sit there and hang out and talk and eat. It's going really good. We're, we're getting along real well. It's actually, it's actually pretty great. Uh, we're hitting it off real well. Next thing you know, two people walk in. Um, to this McDonald's. I don't realize who it is at first, but then I take a second to look, and I'm like, wait a minute. That's Eli. And uh, his friend. Um, I'm not going to say his friend's name. I don't know. I just, you know, don't like saying people's names on here. Eli's, Eli, I know Eli is fine with it. But anyways, Eli and his friend. I'm like, and I go to her, and I'm like, um, I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, that's Eli. And she's like, wait, really? I'm like, the guy who just called me a minute ago. And we're just like, so he decided to stalk me. Um, I don't I don't know why. But anyways, they, they order their food. And, and the first thought I have is, oh, no, he's going to judge me for taking her to McDonald's. Which he did later on, like a couple days later when we talked about it. He was just like, hey, why'd you take her to McDonald's? And whatever, you know. But anyways... They go to sit down, and they sit at this other table, and they're j he just, like, looks over and is just, like, like staring at us. And we're both, like, talking about how much how stupid he is, you know? Um, <laughs> so, I go, and I just, like, whisper to her. I'm, like, as I'm, like, slowly picking up our garbage and setting it on our tray, I'm, like, all right, here's what we're going to do. Here, pack up our salads. Okay, we're going to stand up, and we're going to walk out, and we're going to go drive somewhere else and eat our salads somewhere else. So, we do that. We stand up, and then Eli just, like, looks over at me, and he's just like, Hey, why are you guys leaving? Come on. And I'm like, uh, no, we just wanted to go finish our salad somewhere else. And he's like, he's like, okay. He's like, we'll, we'll leave if you guys want us to. And I'm just like, nah, we're going to go. We're going to go. And then <laughs> go out, get in the car, um, drive to the – we drive to a park nearby. Um, and on the way, we're just talking about how stupid Eli is. Um and we get, we get to this park we are we're you know hanging out for a while again you know it's going good eating our salads and everything and we sit under this uh band stand thing that's at the park and we're there for a while we're there alone oh our car is the only one there right nobody's at the park it's later it's i don't know what time it is it's probably like 7:30 something like that so you know nobody's going to be at the park this time uh, so we're just there, and then a car pulls up next to my car, um, oh, and jokingly, jokingly, we're like, oh, what if that was Eli? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> mm, we wait, we're sitting there for a while, like, we're like, yeah, nobody's, like, getting out of their car, they're just kind of sitting there, it's kind of weird, right? Like, I don't know. And then eventually, a guy steps out of the car, and starts walking towards, like, where we are. Uh, a guy with a hood on, so, you know, you can't see his face. As he gets closer, I realize that it's Eli's friend that he was with. And I say something to him, I can't remember what I said, and he's just like, uh, 
he like reaches down on the ground and just goes, uh, there's my phone, and then like starts walking away. <laughs> he goes <laughs> he goes back to the car. They sit there for a while, continue to sit there, and I'm like what are they doing? And then eventually she's just like, and I, I was sitting there going to her. I'm like, yeah, you know, they're probably just sitting in the car. Like, Ooh, are they going to kiss? Are they going to kiss? And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to while they're here. Jeez. Uh, but anyways, she's like, you should call him. And I'm like, fine, I'll call him. I call him. And I'm just like, are you guys going to leave it all? Or are you just going to sit there? And he's like, what do you mean? We're still at McDonald's. <laughs> You know, and I'm like, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, fine. Eventually, I hang up, but eventually, he 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 pulls out, and then starts to pull out, but then he parks on the other side of my car instead. <laughs> he just continues, and I I don't know what's going on, but anyways, eventually he does leave us alone, and then the rest of the date goes well and everything, and it's it's a lot of fun. But yeah, so there's there's my funny date story quite funny he's trying to sabotage your date so he can have you all to his, to himself yeah i mean obviously everybody wants yeah, a, bit clearly. Of a piece of everybody wants a piece of nim um no i <laughs> i think i think he's just uh you know he's just like he wants to see if i'm gonna like make a move on her or something i don't know like he's like ooh, who i want to see what he's gonna do i don't yeah. know yeah mm-hmm or Being he's just <laughs> she she was like oh man i don't she's like man he's he's a pretty good friend she's like none of my friends would do that would 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 stalk me on a date and i'm like yeah <laughs> i have a great friend um so <sighs> so that happened that was exciting very um, interesting i've never had an experience like that i guess yeah. i guess the time that i went on a date with my ex and i brought my little brother with me probably close but not quite analogous so that's different though because it's not you're not being stalked on like like it's not like an unwanted thing like you brought him specifically well, like you... here's the here's the thing he may have been doing you a favor think about it what would you have talked about had he not been doing that well, no, it was. It, I, I'm, it, I'm, I'm, I'm fine that he did it. I think it's a, a funny experience. To yeah, back it, on. it, it's, it's something that bonds you closer together with your it, date. Yeah, right. Yeah, it definitely he may be did, doing you know? that tactically. I mean, we, we, um, we really did bond over talking about how much of an idiot Eli is. So, yeah. That's that, hey, look, <laughs> I, yeah, that's why I took my brother on my first date. <laughs> yeah, so you'd have we had something to, to laugh at. <laughs> so you'd have somebody to talk crap on with your date. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit different, though, when you bring somebody specifically, though, because that sends the signal that, like, you don't want to be alone with them, which is kind of like, you know, I don't know, that's it's different. But, um, like, in my case, it wasn't like I specifically told Eli to stalk us or anything. Like, it happened against my will. Like, I didn't want it. <laughs> Like he just showed up, and I was like, "Oh no!" My fir no, my first thought, literally, when he walked in, wasn't, "Oh no, Eli's stalking me." It was, "Oh no, Eli's gonna judge me for taking her to McDonald's." <laughs> 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 that was my first thought. I was like, I almost wanted to like sneak out before they even like turned around and saw us there. Um, but I, <laughs> they already knew I was there, anyways. They probably looked out and made sure my car was parked out there or whatever. <laughs> Wow, that's quite interesting. Yeah, it was it was um it was a real good time. So uh so yeah, fun story. Uh yeah, I like to I like to anytime a fun thing happens to me, I like to keep it as like a ooh, this is something I can tell on the podcast. So that was my fun story of the past two week from the past two weeks. Uh it didn't happen within the last week, it happened within the past two weeks, but you know, last week was our, our guest episode, so you know, I saved it for, for the episode with just us two. Um well, the most interesting thing that happened to me this week was I made chocolate oh. with, with Katie in chemistry class because that's oh, apparently chemistry. Interesting. Uh, we made uh, in well, one of my is, in my chemistry class we made we made soap. So that was exciting. Yeah, that's probably more interesting than chocolate. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, I talked about that when we were talking about Fight Club, remember? Because they made soap in Fight Club. Oh, I remember I already mentioned that. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we didn't make the chocolate. We just, like, we, we, like, tried to melt it and then get it so that it would crystallize properly. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it was, like... Yeah. Interesting. Um, oh, yeah, and also earlier when I said, what do you think of our past guest, I don't think you talked about our last week's guest. Yeah, Come on. I did. This, this is what this is when yeah, our I guest did. isn't here, so we can crap yes, on. Yes, yes, I did. What did you say? I I said that about the audio. But if you want me to say more, I will. No, I'm talking about the guest, the guest herself. Like, oh, you know, it, 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 this it's it's like she's not here now, so it's our chance to crap on her and talk. The crap on her. the image that you put, um, as her the thumbnail. That's the, that that's her actual pro profile picture on YouTube. And it looks like me with a wig on and makeup. I mean... Doesn't it? Do, does it not? I mean... Now that you say it... I don't know. Maybe Serena's your twin then. I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe Serena's I'll have a your... DNA test done this Christmas. Serena's so. your long-lost twin. <laughs> Serena, if you're listening to this episode, you might be Lord Pasta's long-lost twin. Yeah. Um, apparently. I always <laughs> knew. I always knew. It had to be out there. I had to, I had that nice. feeling. Yeah, yeah. Um. That's, that's why I have, that's why I have pain so much. Because whenever, whenever she gets hurt, I feel it. And I just. No, but, um, any like, other, uh, <laughs> any more crap you can talk on her? Come on, come on. We uh, want the real, we want the real juicy okay. stuff here. Come on. Um, I don't know. I, I have nothing to say, like. She makes better videos than both of us, so I don't... True, true. Like, what true. am I supposed true. to say? <laughs> true. Hey, I make more videos than her, though. Okay. Quantity over quality. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, look, that didn't, that, that didn't work for me for, like, three years on YouTube. I even had a plan. I had a plan. I called it... Uh, I had a name for it, too. It was called... Uh, um, Subject matter saturation. I called it that to sound what? smart. And it what was, it, it, I'd produce, I'd produce like hundreds of like five minute videos of me reviewing like these things I would build and build in KSP and make a video for each one <laughs> until I saturated the, the community so much that it would be impossible not to know about me. But it didn't work. So if you so if you search that, there's no there's a chance there's always a chance that like one of yours must pop up because you have so many of them. Kind of. Yeah, thing. but that's not how it works at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. You tried to play the system, but the system played you. Yes. <laughs> uh, I never really had a big plan like that in terms of like, ooh, what can I do to make me popular? I always just kind of was like, eh, I'll do what I feel like doing and that's it. You know, like what I want to do and I don't care. You know, that's always been Yeah, I was thing. at the end of the KSP community. Like, I went to the end of it. I got so bad that I would wait until one of the popular YouTubers <laughs> would upload a video about something. <laughs> then I would make a design in KSP that's similar to it and then <laughs> literally have... <laughs> like the name of that thing that they made in the title <laughs> and in the <laughs> metadata. <laughs> oh, I make a video Lord. specifically for that. People Lord would hate. People would hate on me for that. But Lord Pasta, exposed. I was surprised. I was surprised they didn't catch on more. That this I is the Lord that. Pasta Exposed podcast. But I never did that again. After I started doing. Uh, 2B2T, I never had to do that. Yeah, well, 2B2T is what actually started gaining you subscribers, so, yeah, like... I had 100 subs from KSP, from, like, three and a half years of KSP, and I got, like, 500 subs from not from even a year of 2B2T. Yeah. Well, it's because, like, you get a lot of other people who play that server because to subscribe to you Because it's a hot stuff. topic. It's a hot topic. People are searching it. Right, and people you, who like uh, people who are play on that server and yeah. stuff like want it would was, want to it subscribe to you. Thing. It was a new yeah. thing. The way the way that things on YouTube work is you have to be in with the first people to do something, and if yeah. you're not, you're you're getting into an already dead community. I was already going into a dead KSP community. Yeah. 
uh, but I was the one see, of the first ones to do. See, this is this is why you should never have deleted your channel. Um. Yeah, I know I shouldn't have, <laughs> but I did. Yeah, it's it's okay, Lord Pasta. I still accept you. Okay. Um. Anyways, so that was a nice little discussion there. Um. Do we want to talk about the movie now? Yeah, we should actually probably do that. So in the last twenty minutes of this. Thing. We decided from now on we're gonna have our movie discussion is gonna be based on a movie that our guests suggest to us every every guest episode. So last week we asked good old uh, good old Serena what she suggested, and you know what? Earlier we couldn't think of anything to talk crap on her about, but now I think I do. Uh, no, <laughs> she suggested. Wise. This was I'm my, kidding. This movie this was, was my great. dream movie. Uh, yeah. Josie and the Pussycats from 2001. I, all, I was, all wore what ears. What is this movie? My favorite. Like, what? They all wore those little ear things. Yeah. How could I not love this movie? You know? It was. Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, you are literally from this movie. Yes. Um, for those of you who don't know, Lord Pasta has this image of himself wearing like weird ear things, kind of like they do in this movie. Um, but anyways, so this movie, oh yeah, spoiler alert, by the way, every time we do a movie discussion, we do like spoilers and stuff, you know, I mean, in case yeah, anybody didn't want to be now. spoiled for Josie and the Pussycats, you know, ooh. it's the movie of the century. I it, actually it, saw it really is. Um, so the movie is based on an old, there's an old cartoon show called Josie and the Pussycats, which is based on like the old Archie comics. Um, which I don't actually know a lot about. Like, I've read them before, but not much to really know the characters or anything. So, I don't... I'm not well-versed in that. So, it's like, the 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 show... There's a show called Riverdale now that's also based on that, the our old Archie comics. But that's, like, completely different, obviously. But, um... So, I watched... I started off... Uh, actually, first off, Lord Pasta, you give your thoughts. We'll, we'll do that. Um... Well, the movie actually gave me a pretty consistent mood throughout the whole thing of, like, um, un being unsettled the whole time. Yeah. Like, I was the just acting like, was bad, but, like, I watched it. it, it was, I liked some of the over-to-the-top acting, though. Like, Really? I, I don't appreciate that. I just... See... It, 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 when I watch it, you know what I think of? I think of an old iCarly episode. Yeah, it's, it, it's just not something that. But there were a lot of like weird, dirty jokes in it. So it was like the one where Jackie died. Like in the episode. beginning, in the beginning, she's like holding up a sign that says, "Do you love pussy cats?" Except yeah, the, I, I, the, the <laughs> part of the sign that says "cats" is covered up, so the people driving by all they see is "Do you love pussy?" And like the guy stops and like causes an accident. I was just like, what? <laughs> um, but like, so I watched the. Tr it's a lot different than I expected it to be. I will say that. Um, like I watched the trailer and I'm like, okay, this is just your average like movie about you know, the your average kids movie about like, ooh, there's some a band who wants to be popular and they finally get their shot at popularity, but no, it's not. That at all. causes them their friend their friendship to break up and they have to learn to be able to be friends again because that's more important than being famous, that kind of thing, which it has that kind of, but there's a lot more than I expected. I was like like there's this weird self-awareness to it, which is like um, Yeah. It's like the whole like, movie is full of like subliminal messages of like by this. Well, it's about it's about and yet subliminal it's about messages. It's subliminal messages. It's in literally, music. yeah, it's about <laughs> subliminal messages in music and like consumerism and like mindless consumerism and stuff like that. It's so weird. Like, and at the end they say, "Oh, we found that uh, subliminal messaging works way better." Works in better in movies. movies, and then they have a quick subliminal message in the movie. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, Josie the Pussycats is the best movie ever, or something like that. And I'm like... <laughs> like, I didn't expect that. Um, and, like, um, it was weird because, like, I was watching it, and at first I was like... I noticed, I was like, wow, there's tons of product placement in this movie. That really turned me off. I was like, oh, I hate when movies do that. But then I realized, like, once they mentioned about it, and I was like, oh, that's part of it. Like, that's on purpose. 
that they have all this product placement. <laughs> yeah, and now... I, like, it was part know. of the story. <laughs> it worked on me. Like, like I was watching the movie, and the one scene I remember is is that they had a McDonald's sign on mm-hmm. on the um, the thing for the shower. Like the shower yeah, I was door. like, in the and shower, like, there's I'm just like, a McDonald's I, sign I thought there. to myself, that's absurd. Like, why would they even have that? But then that image got stuck in my head. And now I want but to go get McDonald's. It, well, it's sort of... I want, it's sort I want of, some chicken nuggets right now. It uses the product placement that were... Pro- they were probably actual product placements that were actually paid to be put in this movie. But it uses that to sort of, like... It, 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 it um, exaggerates product placement to make it, like, to... It, it, it takes things like subliminal messages and... and and, and product placement and stuff like that that does exist in the real world, but exaggerates it to, like, an extreme <laughs> where it's, like, absurd. <laughs> and it's, like, there's this weird government conspiracy behind it all, and, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's what so did, What did you think about the end when the two people in charge of it, like, were, like, actually really... I was, late? like, what the... I was, like, what is going on? I did not expect that. It's I was like, like, they're like, oh, it's like, we happen to have gone to the same high school. Whoa. We just look different because we changed you know our appearance because we of? were ugly. You know what it reminds me of? What? The end of Food Fight. I didn't see Food Fight. Where the villain is yeah, like I know, a really I know attractive what food fight person is, but I and seen. then they like get defeated and they become like really ugly. They're actually a um, Oh, okay, I remember now. I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen reviews of the How movie. How have you not heard of Food Fight? Oh, I've heard of it. I said I've seen I, a lot of reviews I've, of it. I've never watched it, but I know enough yeah. about it from watching reviews. That, like, yeah, yeah, like like I've seen, like, um, like I Hate Everything did a search for the worst on it and stuff like that. Um, that it yeah, was the... Yeah. Watching those reviews were the funniest. That's why I remember it so much. Yeah, um... But, um, so, I'm trying to think what else I can say about it. Like, there was also some interesting, like, self-aware jokes in it. Like, the one part, the the one lady, they're like, the one lady's there. The one lady who's, like, the sister of their manager or whatever. And that she's, the one who's like, wait, why are you even here? And she's like, I'm here because I was in the comic book. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then it's like, wait, what? And I'm like, I yeah, didn't expect and what it. Was, what was with the whole, like uh, the whole like subplot thing with uh, uh, what was the name of that one band that was in the opening, Dijor or whatever? Dijor. Yeah, I don't... Forgot, they were like trying to message them, but it didn't work, and then like it didn't even. There wasn't even any point to it. <laughs> <And> they <laughs> just show up, and you're thinking, oh, they're gonna show up to help them take him out, but it's like they can't because they're like incapacitated, anyways. They're like, oh, we didn't get beat up because of the plane crash. We landed the plane fine. We just landed in a, in a Metallica concert, and they beat the fans beat us. The Metallica fans beat us up, <laughs> <laughs> which is like, because uh, you know, obviously Metallica fans would like hate that kind their kind of music, you know. Yeah. So it's like, mm-hmm. uh, which their kind of music was like they were like very crappy late '90s, early 2000s. Yeah. They were like music. like in like in in sync. They re- reminded me of like in sync and like, you know that kind yeah. of music. All the music Which, in this movie sucks, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess the actual songs by like the the Pussycats band wasn't as bad as like Du Jour, but it was um, still bad. It was still like not great. It was like it was like very um, very just average average girl rock band music you know early 2000s or i wouldn't girl sit rock there and music. listen to it yeah um the music itself isn't i just it was it was like it it was so abs- it was just such an absurd over the top movie too like they're like ooh, we you know what these two other people in the band are starting to have a problem with all this stuff but we want we want Josie because she's the one that everybody loves. She's the popular one, so we don't want to get rid of her. But we want to get rid of them. What are we gonna do? We're gonna set a trap and have people just straight up kill them, <laughs> like. Yeah, that was like. I mean, at that point, why do you think so many rock it. stars died in plane crashes and died from drugs? 
Wow. I don't know. It was, it was very, uh, it was just very over the top and absurd with the whole idea. So. That's uh, one, it's one least... of the movies that I'm like, that I think they made it and they didn't actually have an idea of what they were going to do with it. When yeah. They actually did it. They were like, ooh, we're going to do this really weird, like, self-aware subliminal message thing. But at the same time, like, those those moments where they were doing a lot of jokes like that around all that stuff and, like, the product placement and stuff, that was the parts, the only part that, like, I, I kind of enjoyed that because it was just so absurd and, and stupid. But, like, there were certain moments where they tried to get a little bit more serious where they're like, ooh, we're going to actually have a serious moment of, like message about friendship or like ooh they, these two finally at the end say that they love each other uh, like stuff when it, when it tried to get serious with stuff like that I was like it was very cliche and dumb uh, and I hated it but like the absurd like self aware stuff with like the the subliminal messages and all that weird stuff it was dumb and a bit oh, it took that and did it a bit over the top but it was enjoyable because of it so that stuff I enjoyed. The other stuff I was kind of bored with, but yeah, I'm not gonna recommend this movie to anybody. Like, but I, I mean. kind of want to recommend it for just how ridiculous and absurd it is, and like how stupid it is. Like, I did laugh I'd out loud say... a couple moments. I'm gonna be honest; they were mostly because it was like a joke that I didn't expect to be yeah, in this kind yeah. of movie. Like the beginning where there was the. Does anybody the joke where the, the she had the sign with like does do you love pussy do you love pussy cats like that made me laugh out loud because I didn't expect that kind of joke in this movie. I, I laughed in the very first part where the one guy that they interview says I love them like brothers, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like the the freaking manager uh no the the music label guy was like such an over-the-top character too like he's just like ah like over yeah. the top british ca like character and oh my gosh <laughs> and um, <laughs> immediately i was just like okay where is this going <laughs> i love how like he just like he's like yo they're like in the plane at the beginning and he's just like yo we noticed what's this weird thing in the background of our music and he's just like oh <laughs> that's fine and then he just goes to the pilot and he's like, they're onto us. We got to get out of here. And they just jump out in parachutes. Just straight up, just like, yeah. okay. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Um, so I don't know. Are you very familiar with like the old Archie comics or anything at all? I think I watched them when I was little, but I don't remember them anymore. Mm, I, don't remember I was going to say, because if you were, I was going to say like, compare like the characters in this to that or whatever. Um, I don't know. It's you know what I, it I, reminds me of. It reminds me of those old Scooby Doo movies. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Although I would say those are worse. Yeah, those are worse though. Those are definitely worse. worse. This one at least has a self awareness to it that makes it funny. Um, but like the Scooby Doo movies are just like this kind of movie, but not like just not even i don't know you know i don't know you know what i they're mean just, they're just they're just like not even there not <laughs> even at that level yeah um yeah i get it so so i on i rated this movie on letterboxd um and i gave it a i think i gave it a two out of five or a two out of five yeah I that's what i would have given it that's what i would give, yeah yeah um very interesting movie. I see why Serena likes it. I think, which yeah. I think she, she likes it in more of an ironic way. Like, yeah, it's not really yeah. a good movie, but I like it anyways. I, I feel think. like she's gonna hate us for not getting it. Um, like, I mean, like, I be like, get you don't the understand the beauty of Josie. I mean, like, I get dance. the enjoyment that one would get out of this movie. You know, I also noticed there was a lot of really weird, crazy like camera angles at points too. Yeah, I guess so. It's a lot yeah. of, like, weird. I don't even know. I don't really but, um, notice that as much though. Like at least, at least with this movie, like most movies, when you see tons of product placement, it's like, wow, this is just so like, so just sh they they just have this shameless like product placement everywhere. 
This one, at least there was a reason for it. So you're kind of like, okay, it actually is part of the story. So it's like, you you don't hate it as much. So that's at least a, a thing, a good thing, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's, there's Josie and the Pussycats. Um, oh, Lord Pasta, I had an idea. Uh, this is oh. something we should do as we go on. We should come up with a consensus on, like, a a ranking of all the movies we talk about. So, like, we'll make a list. Um, I'll keep, like, a list somewhere. Um, so, we've watched three movies so far. So, every time we do a new one, we'll just, like, add it to the list somewhere on the list. So, first we had Fight Club, then we had Whiplash, and now Josie and the Pussycats. Now, I think our ranking is pretty obvious. Yeah. So Whiplash in the middle... Um, Whiplash in the middle. Fight yeah. Club at the, the Fight first Club one, number one, and, and Josie and the Pussycats, a uh, bottom. Right. Solid three. Solid. Solid three. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the worst. Um, the other two are actually really good movies. This one's like a a bad movie with enjoyable things about it. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, there you go. We talked about Josie and the Pussycats. I'll definitely put up a list. I might even add a an, an uh a list on like letterboxd or I, I should make an imdb account and do do stuff like this on there too i don't know um so i'll make my own like uh letterboxd list hopefully of of the ranking of these movies so anyways anything else you wanted to say about the movie uh uh show it to your teenage girls your daughters yeah. um They'll, they'll, they'll I can say it. that the actress who played uh, Josie, she was kind of cute. I can say that, though. Yeah. Not going to lie. Gonna lie. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's all we have to say. So, um, Anyways, I guess we should start wrapping up now. We're about yeah. to an hour. Yeah. I'm, so that ju- was a- I'm just sitting here wondering what our next guest is going to recommend that we watch probably gonna be something yeah, crazy because he's not he's not like a movie person like the well, last you, two were i like, don't know that <laughs> like well okay like i mean as far as we know because he does like gaming but um like the last two guests we had they're big like movie people like um the the culture buff podcast they talk about movies all the time you know serena talks about things through like film studies or whatever um mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, Dyke Diaper uh, suggests us. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, definitely will be interesting. So, anyways, that's mostly all we got. Unless Lord Pasta has anything else to say. Any last words? Um, um a quick message uh, to the to the next guest. Um, you're the reason why my name is actually Lord Pasta. Is it? Cause yeah, it is. Okay, we're um, gonna tell that story next episode. No, I want to. I want to say it now. <laughs> oh, say it now. Say I've it now. said it before. Uh, we have. It's the same syllables. It's Lord Pasta, and then, you know, your name. So that's your gift. Wait. That's your gift to me. It's my name. Is it? Yeah. Oh, same syllables. That's why, my oh, name, oh. That's why I even changed my name. Cause I was gonna just go with Pasta or Pasta Boy or something like that. But I changed it to one that was the same amount of syllables for some reason. I can't remember why. But <laughs> Interesting. Um, so there you go. Uh, Dyke Diaper. Um, still can't say his name. I don't know if you guys can guess. All you yeah, have to do is listen I'm to the totally last. I'm lost right now. Literally, Something all you have to do diaper. is listen to the last couple episodes of our podcast, and you'll get what his name is. But you know. Something to do with a diaper. I don't know. <laughs> Something, because like no, because we've mentioned him before in the podcast. So like obviously. I know. I know. Um. Anyways, so I think this was a pretty good episode of the podcast. We we accomplished a lot. Uh, we we tried mm-hmm. to attempted Lord Pasta attempted to improve my uh, thumbnails. Um, I did improve your thumbnails. We talked about my weird stalker friend, Eli. Um, and we uh, talked about talked about uh, consumerism and product placement. So, um, yeah, mm-hmm. there you go. I'm going to go get some McDonald's now because I've been brainwashed. Yeah. And Puma. There was a lot of Puma product placement in there, too. I'm going to get some Puma shoes. I'm I actually currently McDonald's. wearing a Puma shirt. 
So there you go. Wow, it worked on you. It worked. I mean, I was wearing it before the movie. Before I started Don't watching. Don't ruin it, man. Don't ruin it. <laughs> uh, I put it on <laughs> while yeah, I was halfway shit on. through. I was halfway through watching the movie, and I was like, oh, must change shirt to Puma shirt. <laughs> yeah, you literally totally got changed while you're watching the movie because you got yeah. subliminally. Sublim- <laughs> subliminally. Sub- I can't say that. Subliminally. Ah, oh, jeez. Subliminal. Sublim- subliminally manipulated. I got wow. subliminally manipulated. Anyways, so time to close. So... If you want to listen to the podcast somewhere else, not sure where you're currently listening to it now, but it is available on all these locations on my YouTube channel, which is called NimTV. It is youtube.com slash C slash NimTV. It is also available on Anchor, which is anchor.fm slash NimCast. Um, it is, the NimCast is also, if you search NimCast on any of these platforms, you should be able to find it. It is available on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, and Stitcher. There you go. Uh, let us know in the comments. Please comment your thoughts on the podcast. Uh, we're still getting started. We're still we're still new to this. Uh, let us know any constructive criticism, anything you think we could do to improve it in the future. All that. Let us know any guests you think we should have on, or if you want to be a guest, if you want to be a guest, you can email me at nimcraft22 at gmail.com. Um... And that should cover everything that we need to cover. So, uh, next episode we'll have a special guest. See who can figure out who that guest is. I definitely didn't make it obvious who the guest is. Um, so thank you all for listening to The Nimcast. I have been Nim. And, and I have been Lord Pasta. And he has been Lord Pasta. Sorry. <laughs> thank you for listening. Goodbye. Peace.